Well, Joseph, thanks for, for your question. Um, I, you know, we've been busy investing in the public transport system. We've had some challenges there with huge increases in demand. But our transport plan means the biggest rollout of uh, new rolling stock and new rail across the state since Federation. And um, that'll improve the provision of public transport in trams and trains and buses right across the state. Um, so I thank you for your support in that regard. Look, the issue with international students is, um, is a difficult one. Uh, the fact is we, we do provide some concessions for the students who come here if they're refugees or if they come here on a, a full scholarship from a developing country. Uh, but for other students who are full fee paying, they're really treated in a, in a consistent way across state policies and across uh, federal government policies. And that is students um, who come here don't get an entitlement to Medicare, um, they don't get an entitlement to youth allowance and they don't get an entitlement either to concessional um, public transport. Um, we've looked at this long and hard. I, I think the policy is right. It's probably worth bearing in mind with public transport that the fares only cover about half the cost of running the public transport system. Um, the rest of the cost of public transport is, is paid for by taxpayers generally. So I guess you could say that anybody who uses the system, in, including um, international students, is getting, is getting a fair subsidy of about 50% from taxpayers generally. So we have looked at it long and hard. I, I think the balance is right and really the priority for us at the moment has got to be to fund the Victorian Transport Plan um, to increase the availability of services and new rolling stock for our trains and our trams and our buses.